Hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, exclude one or multiple user accounts from Microsoft 365 search. Just simply say hide user from uh, from Teams from Microsoft 365 search. So why is this could be required? Uh, let's say. Uh, as a regular user, I'm looking for somebody with designer skills, right? And what I'm seeing here is uh, account called designer, but actually it's a service account. It's not a user account, it's a service account. Um, so this account should not appear in search result probably, right? Another account, uh, David's account, uh, this is actually not enabled user so and the only real account only real designer that should appear in search is the second one so let me show you that david's account is actually a, a disabled account yep so uh, that's clearly uh, need to be fixed, right? Another example, uh, I'm looking for a specific person. I know his name. His name is Johan. Uh, and I can see two accounts of Johan, but I definitely know that only uh, there is only one Johan in our company. But which account should I uh, use to for communication, right? Uh, I never know. Uh, the same happens in uh, Bing results, actually. Uh, you know, different sources, uh, different Microsoft services can provide us uh, a different experience. But here, in, under Bing, you can see the same behavior. Uh, in Outlook, in Outlook, uh, let us try to write an email and uh, use people picker and again we don't know which uh, Johan is correct one for communicate right how this can be how this can be fixed uh, very simple way I'm logging in to Microsoft 365 admin center and I'm going to account and on the mail I can go to show in global address list right and currently it says yes let me change it to no right this is kind of a plain and straightforward solution how to exclude user from uh, from search but this is not enough and i will show you later why and how we can do it right in the correct way the same actually the same settings is available for us in exchange admin center right but it's called differently it's called hide from and it currently is set to yes because this settings in exchange synchronize it to settings in uh, Microsoft Admin Center so it's the same settings so let me let me see Johan and here I will uh, set it to set this account to hide from search Uh, let's do the same in PowerShell. Uh, connect it to Exchange Online module, and let me let me uh, check for these four accounts. What are the current settings? And specifically, I'm looking into property called Hidden from Address List Enabled. And I can see that this property is set to true for two accounts, right? Uh, and these two accounts, exactly two accounts, 
I just uh, changed the settings in using GUI, right? Uh, can we change the settings in PowerShell? Yes, of course. Uh, well, let me change the same the same settings for uh, service account designer and and yes, of course, uh, all three accounts are now are hidden from uh, address list, right? So here, what we can see after a few days uh, that uh, required for search to pick up changes and to recall accounts. So let us check what's happening now. Uh, designer under Bing, we we are not seeing designer, so that's good, right? That's what we actually wanted. So, uh, Johan, again, only one Johan account under all, and only one Johan account under Outlook does good job too. So, we are not seeing Johan here in people, people Picker and let us check what's under mm, uh, on the all users. Okay, we are not seeing designers, and we are not seeing uh, extra extra Johan account. Good. Uh, and the teams uh, and the teams is not so good, but let us see. Uh, under all and under people, we are not seeing extra Johan, but designer service account is still here. Why? I don't know, frankly say. But that's need to be fixed, right? And under office.com, let us check what's happening again under all vertical we are good, no extra designers, but on the people, oh no, it's still there, right? Uh, accounts we should not see under search results, right? And another another moment of truth is actually uh, organizational view hierarchy and teams doesn't understand what we did. So organizational view and the teams is still showing us uh, accounts that should not be here. You can see two Johans and you've seen uh, extra designer. Okay. Okay, so how do we fix this? Uh, let's check uh, SharePoint. I already logged in to SharePoint and let us get user profile property, right, for one specific user. Uh, all friend uh, SharePoint user profile properties and yes, for one specific account we can get property called SPS dash hide from address list property, right? And I can see that this property is set to false now, right? And this kind of contradicts exchange property. So obviously these two properties are not synchronized. Uh, but obviously uh, user profiles are searched, right? Uh, let us check the same property for all other accounts and yes, all is set to false. So, uh, now, is it possible to, is it possible to set this property to true? Like, and would it help us to hide account from search? Let me try. Oh no, I cannot do this. It says, 
uh, I have to change only my personal account or I must be administrator right but frankly say I am a tenant administrator here uh, so let me try to change my personal account oh no it says uh, property not editable this property cannot be modified so it's just a read only property if this property is read only this property must be synchronized with something right with what yeah so i did some research and i found uh, that in azure active directory uh, we can get a user and under a user we can have show and address list property so that's uh, azure ad user account property so let us check this property settings for all our users and we can see that this property is not set so empty right nothing in here so far can we set this property to something uh, let me try yeah as i remember right it should be like this okay let me check yeah it works it works validate okay i set this property to false for david right okay uh, let me do the same for another let me set second uh, designer account to false and Johan to true right so that's again for experiment previously we uh, tried to hide second Johan from uh, exchange using exchange property right so let, let us see let us see consequences of what we just did so I'm back uh, not after a few minutes but after a few hours and let us remind what we did okay we set up David and designer to fools not to show an address lead and uh, second Johan to true to show an address list okay and let us check SharePoint user profile property. Yes, correct. All synchronized. All synchronized uh, correctly. So remember, we set up second Johan to hide in Exchange, but to show in Active Directory. And Active Directory, I can see that Active Directory property is synchronized to exchange so obviously uh, azure id property is synchronized both to exchange and to sharepoint right so that's good that's good to know and let us see what is happening in uh, graphical user interface so that was object model or shell object model but let us see what's happening in GUI okay let us start from teams experience and on the teams on the teams let us check are there any designers and there are no designers under all but still we have service account under people which is incorrect which is still incorrect why is this happening i don't know frankly say uh, it should be already excluded here but you know every service different experience let us check johan and yes we do have two accounts because we uh, because we said to m365 that both accounts should be here 
Maybe I should use another account, another example, but yeah, for the sake of accuracy, yeah, both accounts are here. Under being, under being, let us check. Yes, we do have both Johans everywhere. Good. Check designer. Only one under people, that is good. And only one under all, that's good. Let us check office.com. Uh, yeah, surely we can see both Johans everywhere. And let us check designer. Only one designer here. And on the people. Ah, yeah. You can remember that last time exchange property did not fix this, but changing Azure AD property actually fixes this. We are not seeing extra designers here. Uh, Outlook works good as well. Obviously, you can find both Johans here, right? And let us check all the users. Okay, yeah, both Johans, no designers. That's good too. Oh, let me let me show you also uh, org view here, right? right? So on the teams, we are not. So that, that, that actually this trick helped us fix uh, org structure too, right? So we are not seeing uh, no needed accounts on the org structure. And that's also good that it fixes that. Okay. For details, you can go to my blog where I explain it the same in a detailed way, which property helps us to hide account from which Microsoft service uh, with PowerShell commands with uh, like all you need to repeat this uh, in your in your own environment. Alrighty, thank you.